They are a formidable sight, Russia's naval capabilities from the sea and from the air, the warships, the nuclear-powered submarines, and the support they get from above. Vladimir Putin signed a new maritime doctrine today, calling the USA its main threat, and promised bigger, better, faster weapons. Достаточно упомянуть новейшие, не имеющие аналогов в мире гиперзвуковые ракетные комплексы Циркун, для которых нет никаких преград. Уважаемые товарищи, их поставка в вооруженные силы России начнется в ближайшие месяцы. In Crimea, though the home of the Black Sea Fleet, the parade was cancelled after what Russia says was a Ukrainian attack by a small commercial drone. Any parade there would have been without its flagship vessel, the Moskva, sunk back in April. The most significant, but not the only one lost so far. The loss of the Moskva warship was a huge blow for Russia's Black Sea fleet. But what they have been extremely effective at doing over these past five months is putting an economic stranglehold on Ukraine, a blockade on all of their Black Sea ports, which means that the commercial exports and imports, which its economy relies on, have been absolutely brought to a standstill. And that makes it much more difficult for Ukraine to fight. Today's parade, a moment of national pride. <coughs> What's your understanding of what Nazi means? Люди, которые только за свою нацию других не воспринимают. Мы любим своего президента, потому что в него плюются, а он делает свое дело. But not everyone is such a fan. Война это, это последний, последний, я думаю, выпад Путина против всего мира. Это личный выпад обезумевшего диктатора, совершенно обезумевшего диктатора против всего мира. A lone voice in these crowds, overwhelmed by the mighty force of patriotism, which Vladimir Putin whips up so well. Yeah.